This is me. <laughs> What's good, young world? It's your boy, Mr. All In. And what am I doing? I'm chilling right now. I have completely finished my dry erase board. Uh, well, my dry erase wall. And I'm showing y'all now the final product. Uh, what we've done, you see me do a time lapse of the first coat that I put on. And I learned a few things. So I'm going to show y'all. The thing, I'm gonna tell y'all the things that I learned about this dry erase paint. And then we are going to test out our dry erase wall right here behind me. I have four different markers that we're going to use. I have the red, blue, green, and black marker. So we're gonna try this dry erase board, dry erase markers on the board. We'll get a chance to see that. I have my dry erase expo spray for it as well and i have a towel that we'll use to wipe that one down so stick to the end and you'll get a chance to actually see how the dry erase board work so what happened with the dry erase i have i have the paint i got paint on it now so you can't see it as much but i used the crayon crayon Craylon. I use the Craylon dry erase paint. All right. So this is the paint that I use. All of here is on this wall right here. So this gave me three. I got three coats of it. And let's keep it 100. I'm going to keep it 100, right? The wall, as I learned, it the paint dries very quick. So it's going to be a, a quick drying paint. And when you're usually painting, I use the roller, as you saw, and if you didn't see that one, I use the roller. So when you're using the roller and you're going up and down, it typically, you want to start from the bottom and smooth out your straight lines. Well, with this paint, it dries so quick and it's supposed to be a thick paint. So your first time, your first lap, just go ahead, put it thick. If it's thick, leave it alone let it dry it may take longer to dry but you got to let it cure for four days anyways before you actually touch the wall so let it um let it sit that first one just worry about getting it thick i would probably if i were to do it again i'd probably go up it's thick boom i'll just spread it out here and that's it for that first one i'm gonna let it go because what happened over here if we zoom in let me see I can get close to the wall. All right, so ah, it's over here. But this section is white. You can't really see it as much. And up here, this is my favorite part of the wall. So this is the part of the wall that we're actually going to. Let me see. Get the camera. Okay. This is the good part of the wall. We're actually going to write on this part of the wall right here because it's really a good smooth section as you can touch it uh it took about oh back up one thing that i did do is i primed my wall you definitely want to prime your wall to start okay you want to make certain that your wall is primed if your wall is not primed this is going it's going to eat into your drywall so i paint this on drywall it say i got a piece of cardboard another cardboard um what is that uh, uh, dry no this is drywall that's just wood i think that's just wood uh metal you can do different surfaces but you definitely want to if you're going to do wood you definitely want to prime that one because the primer is going to go onto the wall right and then this is going to soak into the primer as opposed to soaking into the drywall at first so pro tip do a i did a double coat of primer so i did my prime on the wall i let it dry for about 30 minutes then i came on and put a second layer of primer on we let that rest for about another 30 minutes after that i came back on and i did my first layer of the dry erase paint after my first layer of dry erase paint i let it uh as the direction said i followed the direction direction said to let it sit for painting apply with foam nylon or polyester brush or polyester brush or 3.8 woven nap roller cover with solvent resistant core uh, may require multiple applications of coat maximum film thickness and uniformity of appearance 
Highly porous surface may require additional coats. Dry to the touch in one hour and dry to handle it one and a half hour. Okay, I mean one hour and a half. Yeah. So in between each coat, I, I waited about an hour. I think I waited a little over an hour for my second to do my third coat. I did. That one probably was like an hour and 30 minutes. And then I put that final coat on. And I was doing pretty good, but I was trying to, you can almost kind of see it when I was going up, right? I got this one part and I was like, oh, let me use, I ran out of paint. So I was like, oh, let me push this paint through because it looked wet. It's gonna have a wet look. If it has a wet look to it, leave it alone. I messed around with it and I tried to push that. It ended up taking all of that paint that was in that area and then I had to shuffle it over to the neck. So that was a little, that was a little lot of learning lesson for me on that one. Um, let me think. I, I put the fan on, I cut the fan on. I opened up my windows so that way it can ventilate. I am in the basement, you know what I'm saying? So I ventilated that. This wall is a fairly large wall. I can open my arms out. So it's the length of me. This wall is the length of me, height wide. It's literally me. So, wow, this is pretty cool. So for $25, and we'll just say a day worth of work because you're gonna prime your wall, you're gonna wait. Oh, I cleaned my wall. I definitely cleaned my wall. So like wiped it all down, got it real good, got all the mildew, everything off of this wall. So I got the wall cleaned up. After I cleaned the wall, I primed it, I let it dry. After I let it dry, I primed it with two coats. After I primed it, I, I actually painted it with three coats, okay? And that's what we got here. So now I have a full functioning dry erase wall. There's a, there's a still spider down here. I gotta do something to find a way to get rid of the spiders. If anybody has anything, you can tell me how I can get rid of the spiders down here in the office, in the basement. Let me know, I'm down here each and every day and the spiders are still coming. So y'all let me know, <laughs> leave, it in, leave, leave comment and let me know if you know how we can get rid of spiders in the basement. And as we're talking about leaving comments, if you are liking any of this information, if you found anything um, refreshing, or if you even here right now, support your boy, hit that like button, it's absolutely free, okay? And if you wanna receive more updates, learn more about the things that I got going on, just hit that subscribe, it's a bell button. Ding! Just hit that one, uh, like and subscribe, cost you absolutely nothing but your time right now. And you're already watching this, so just go ahead and hit that button for me. Thank you. All right. So it is time for us to get into the testing. All right. We're going to test this bad boy out. We're going to test this good girl out. However you want to say it, we about to get our test on. We're going to start. I'm letting y'all know I'm going to do red last because I'm, I'm I am assuming that the red is going to leave a mark, just because it's red. But we'll see. Doo, doo, doo. So we gotta start black, 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 any black, black, black is black. So we're gonna start with our black, all right? I'm gonna write on the wall. This is dry erase board. And we're gonna see how it works, how it writes. So, got an idea. I'm currently getting ready for back to school. So we're going to go with back. And this ain't the best dry erase marker either. Back to school. All right. Let me see. Do I have a better black marker than this though? Hold on. Hold on. This marker was better than this, but it's not. And I want to make certain oh, with a not really good dry erase marker, we still got something. Okay. Just trying to see if I can have a better black. So that's not bad. The marker itself, back to school, it felt. And you, you can read that roughly. It felt kind of, let me see. 
his marker. Oh, okay. Back to school. Let's do the back. Over. All right. So that's the marker. It is the marker, but it did. Back to school. All right. We was able to get our back to school. Now let's go blue. We know we are in the 2024. So I'm going to do the year. 20. Oh, I like what I wrote. 2024. 20. 20. 25. You can kind of see that blue. So maybe blue wasn't a good color to use. Yeah, you see. 20. 20. 5. So 2024, 25 school year. Okay. These markers are horrible. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give y'all an updated video <laughs> with some good markers because these markers absolutely suck. But the way that it's writing on it, it feels, it's not flowing. I don't know if that's due to markers or if it's due to the wall. I've never written with markers that felt like this before. Just letting you know. So I don't know what's up. So we got back to school 2024. Um, us say best of luck. Ooh, that was a good marker. Best of luck. Oh, it's the marker. It's definitely the marker. Because this marker, this green marker, I only write in green a lot. But this green marker is really flowing. Had to drop a bomb on it because it was that good. So back to school 2024, 20, 2024, 25 school year. Best of luck. And now we are going to go with the red. Um... To God, ooh, that works real good. To God, be the glory. All right, so it's definitely the marker. It's definitely the marker. You get a good marker, it's gonna work flawless. And it still does feel a little rough. If I, when I do my next wall, what I will do is I'll probably sand the second layer after I do the, because I think that's what it gives it smooth, smooth, and it's like it looks like it's it looks like it's peeling already. This wall probably could use another coat of this. At twenty five dollars, I probably will go buy another one just so I could put another uh, coat on this. And then I can use it for other things like my wood that I have over there. It's a big board wood. I think that'd be super cool. Ooh, yeah, actually I am. Because if I can get that one, then I can cut that into different boards. I might be the guy to create boards. So there it is. The red actually worked the best. It's the best marker, I think. The green, the second best which is the second best marker. So if your markers work, if your markers work, it's going to write. All right, so if your markers work, it's going to write. And yeah, so the better the marker, the better it's going to write. It does feel a little chalky, like you write writing on a chalkboard a little bit. It's not a, a smooth, like he, okay, let me try something. Let me see. Can y'all see me over here? No. So. Okay, so it is smooth on my smooth spot. I am. I'm going to sand this and I'm going to come back and I'm going to do another one video. But I'm going to sand this and then I'm going to do another coat on it. Because I want this dry erase board. I got a whole wall of dry erase. So if I can do this one, I think it'll really be dope. I'm going to sand it. I'm going to put another coat on it. The most important part, the wall has to cure. So I finished painting this on, I think on Mon last on a Monday, and it's been a week. You gotta let it sit for at least four days. I ended up going out of town, 
And I said, you know what? When I get back, I'll just do a live test with y'all so we can all test it out together and see how the wall actually works. And it seemed to do pretty good. So you do want to let it test. Some areas are going to look wet. Don't get tempted to paint over it or touch it or do something. Just leave it alone. It's supposed to look like that. And if you make it thick, I think you'll get it real good. It'll actually look like a regular dry erase board. This is my first time ever painting uh, with a dry, with a roller. So don't, um, don't be scared to actually paint. You know what I'm saying it's only paint. If you mess up, guess what? You get some paint and paint it over. But what I want to do now is I want to actually test out if it's going to come off the wall. And that was the little thing that I, you kind of see that one too. Just see how I race. Let's see, will it race my finger? Oh! With a little bit of a dye. It rubbed off with my finger. And yes, you can still see that little bit. Let's see. But that's just finger. It's still there, right? Just a little light bit. So now I'm gonna throw that on there. Just a little spray spray, a little bit of elbow, and you can't see it at all. You can't. I don't think so. I don't think so. I think that's pretty good. So now, what I also wanted to do with this, I wanted to leave this up here. I wanted to let it a little bit. Why I wanted to let it right? I mean, I wanted to let it stick. Because if we're writing, we're doing things, we all know the longer that you let, let it sit on the board, it's going to last longer. If you just wipe it off as soon as you're done, it's, it's good to go. I did my finger with that little thing over there. I usually probably, I'm one of those, I don't use my finger when it comes to wiping down boards. I actually usually have a dry erase, an eraser. Got a racer upstairs. We're gonna show the racer. So what I want to do, I don't have any spray on this part of it. We're going to see if it'll just wipe off. We're done with that part with just one wipe. What do y'all think? Think it's gonna wipe off? Yes? No? Leave me a comment. Leave me a comment in this section below. All right, we're gonna wipe it down in three, two, one. Let's go. So just off of the wipe test with nothing, I'm, I'm giving it a little bit of a tough, like I'm pushing in here, y'all. I'm pushing. Okay. And that's a wall. And that's a wall. I probably should not have used a white towel, but now we're going to use our Expo Whiteboard Care. There's three sprays on there. Let it sit a little bit, it's running down. And now we'll come right on in. All right, the area that I asked to take off, took off. Okay, gotta use another more spray. Let the spray sit a little bit. We don't need that running all the way down the wall. All right. Now, there we go. Oh, my. Guess you find out which area of this wall you can and cannot use. And of course, the red is the last piece to come out. That black is gone, the green is gone. The red. As I said, I thought the red was gonna be the hardest one. That blue though is surprisingly not coming off the wall either, yet. Part of it could be, hmm. You might be like, yo, it's a dub on that, it ain't coming off, huh? Add some scrub into it. Mm. This is how our boards be, right? So I'm gonna spray it onto here. Spray it onto the wall directly. 
be having them boards that people don't wipe them off all the way. Got stuff on them. And I did write on, let me see. Ooh, I see it. That's one of those. That is actually one of the non-bright sections of the wall. And from this angle, you can't even see it no more. So I come off of the wall, I can see it. But we want to get that, so let's see. There we go. Let's come on to the side. Up and down. Up and down. There you go. Up and down. Add a little to that bad boy. Yeah. So what I would do, seeing this and testing this, what I'm going to do as of right now is we're going to avoid using red unless we know it's going to be permanent and we're going to definitely avoid that blue or at least that blue in this section because what I think it did I'm trying to look at like right is is it wiping off or did that draw hmm. what am I looking at so I'm seeing no that's the number okay so this is the numbers that I drew right and when I spray it when I spray it, oh, it's on it. It's on it. <laughs> so what I'm looking at was trying to see if the paint itself, if the paint was coming off that area, which I kind of feel like it did. So let's try something else here. Let's try something else. I know. I said the blue, right? Find a spot. High. High. That's an H. Oh, it's because I had to push hard on it and I really pushed inside. That's what it is. Get some good dry erase markers. That's what it is. Almost guarantee you because my dry erase marker wasn't good. And I didn't know they wasn't this good, though, so I apologize to y'all for that, okay? But yeah, uh, sand this bad boy, put another, put another coat on it, but if you're interested in dry erase, in making your own dry erase wall, I think this will be real good for those that have kids, uh, my creatives, it'll also be good because you can literally write on the wall and not get in trouble with it. So maybe try a section. Like if I wanted to before I OD'd, I actually was gonna do this at first, but I decided to just do the whole wall. But I was going to, I was gonna use some tape and tape and make a huge um, board. So it would actually look like a board. And I probably would have been, a, I don't know. Either way, I didn't do it like that. I do have a section in another one of my rooms that I'm going to test out and I'm gonna try. So. We can see how that one works as well. But hopefully, I helped you out. 
you have been trying to decide if you wanted to add a dry erase board to your wall, if you wanted to know if the dry erase paint actually works, hopefully this was a good hands-on tutorial for you and gave you an opportunity to see that it actually works. Some good paint, not too expensive, three coats, prime it, let it dry, sand it if you, if you have a sander. I would strongly recommend that. I think it'll come out a lot smoother for you. And yeah, I'm your boy, Mr. All In. I love all things fitness. I love all things AI. I am the world's best educator. And I like doing cool stuff around the house to make your life better and to make me better. I am a hip hop loving Christian. So if you're looking for a way to praise the Lord and sweat at the same darn time, looking to get fit, send me a DM. Like and subscribe. I got fitness videos. I got AI videos. I got random videos like this of how we make our podcast studio look even doper. And if you like the way that my screens look and having multiple screens on screen and overlays and stuff like that, let me know. I can help you out with that one as well. All right. Wish your boy Mr. All In. Until next time, we out this day. Peace.